rising to extremes. Light me up that cigarette. Slap shoes on my feet. Got to find the reason. Reason things went wrong. Got to find the reason why my money's all gone. Rolling down the street, smoking in the door, sipping on gin juice. Lay back with my mind on my money and my money on my mind. Alright, I'm going to get you started with some ukulele bar chords. Some of the easiest ones and an easy progression with two chords that you can do. Sublime's what I got. You can do uh, the Snoop Dogg Gin and Juice. Uh, and give you a little bit more rhythm instead of it's a G and a C. Instead of going. Which is cool if you're already playing it like that. That's pretty cool. But you can add some rhythm with that. And uh, say if you're jamming with somebody and they're doing the, the straight up chords instead of both y'all doing the same thing, when you can split it up and you're doing these new tricks. Also gets you started on two easy chords and gets you started on that uh, California skull groovy kind of, you know. So we're going to get started on it. All right. The G chord as a bar chord is an F-shaped bar chord. Same as you making an F, but you're going to bar it on the second fret. Make an F chord with your birdie finger and your ring finger. So you're bar on the whole second fret, birdie finger on the second string, and your ring finger on the top string. And just practice. And this is how we're gonna learn how to do reggae too. You're just gonna then you can do ska. Out of the bar chords, you're gonna do some jazz too out of it. So I mean, you, it's, it really opens a lot, but it's just just work on getting a good. Then practice chucking, and, and then the next chord is the C chord, which is a A shaped bar chord that you're gonna move over to the third fret. So your birdie finger is gonna go up to the third string. And your ring finger is going to go to the top string as you bar the third fret. So it works out well for us because you're going one string up, one fret down. One string up, one fret down. That's the best way to remember this. That makes I'm not going to try to, it's kind of hard for me to say up, down, up, up, down, up. Because sometimes you hear Chuck, sometimes it's just not the way it's playing, sometimes it's not how the jam's going, and I'm not the guy to tell you exactly how to do it right, because I'm not going to do it right. As long as you end on the... And you just practice that, and get used to playing those bar chords, because your G's here, your C's here, your D's here, your A's there, your... Your E's here, you know, and then your seven. So we're going to get to all that, but I just want to get y'all started with the G. C. One finger up, one fret down. And if you want to even like, uh, what's that band? The... Uh, If you want to do Blister in the Sun, same way. And you can get groovier. If you want to slow the, you know, if you want a finger pick out of it, you want to slow it down. Work on that, and we're going to get to the next lesson.